right, so I officially out of Breckenridge, heading back on trail at Gold Hill. Got to say that uh, the Bivy Hostel, great breakfast too. I mean, what a place to stay. And Almost to the top. I swear, this last section, it's like a 60 degree incline. I'm gonna like take a few steps and then stop. It's crazy. I'm nearing the top and finally got a view. There's also some marmots up here. Maybe no. Right here. There he is. He's on that log up there. Or on that rock up there. picking up but it's actually kind of starting to snow it's finally near the top but uh, the storm right there not an ideal place to be So finally down from that peak of segment 8, still on segment 8, but gotta go up to Tennessee Pass. Yeah, so I guess this is like Camp Hale or something that it used to be. That's why there was those bunkers. And uh, it's on segment 8 of the Colorado Trail. You can even see right here, explosive hazard, do not touch. So I don't know exactly what's causing this here, but it's just crazy. I'm hiking through it. Should make it to Turquoise Lake today and farther maybe Mount Albert uh, trailhead. But gonna be at Twin Lakes tomorrow for my resupply. Feels so much better. I don't even feel like I need trekking poles. My four toes are getting crunched. What a difference. I have just entered the Holy Cross wilderness near Turquoise Lake. say this holy cross wilderness is neat there is a uh, a lot of lakes the first one was uh, porcupine lake and then there's bear lake and some other lakes and now there's this one
Mount Massive trailhead where also Mount Albert is. Come by this cool looking peak up here and then a few miles and seven something miles in the Twin Lakes General Store. The resupply. And then might continue on. Take a little bit less. We'll see. Just got done in Twin Lakes. Been there for about an eh, hour, two hours. Picked up a hat because my nose kept getting burned. Had some awesome people there. A uh, local named Dave helped me fix my hip belt because the Velcro wore out. So we were able to like jerry rig some new Velcro and make the hip belt work. So now carrying this isn't as painful. And uh, now I'm heading up that. I would say I've got at least 3,000 feet to gain. They said it's rough, so. so. I've been wading through quite a bit of water on some of these roads because this river is high, I think, and it's flowing pretty good. So the question becomes, can I cross it safely? Beautiful view though. Let me see if I can find a shallow spot. See some ripples here. Yeah, that sucker's moving. I think up here. That was some scary shit. I thought I was going to get dragged. I got almost waist deep right in here and that, that was pulling. Now I just got to cross here, which is nice thing is this isn't deep like that was over there. Ooh, that was some strong current. Hiking up towards Hope Pass. If you ain't bleeding, you ain't trying. No, really, it's probably the drier and the heat, but got to deal with it. Got a nosebleed. There's a ptarmigan right here in front of me on the trail. I've never seen one before. This is cool. They're right. They do look and sound like chickens. Cool. There's mountain goats, too. See if I can zoom in on it. I'm trying to do everything one hand. Dang it, lost him. But there's a ptarmigan right there. And there's a mountain goat that just came down. There's a mountain goat. Ha! Thank you, God, for this experience. This ptarmigan's like five feet from me. Not sure if he thinks I'm trying to get him because I'm trying to go up this slope. But his nest might be here and it might attack me. So. Yeah, it's got chicks. Thought I heard them sitting on that rock there. Yeah, see, right there. So it's protecting. I'm not trying to hurt your babies. What a view, though. Near Hope Pass. Made it to the top of Hope Pass. That was a challenge. I had to go through some snow. Lightville. I'm gonna say Mount Hope and the Mount Hope Pass. That is steep both ways. I'm still making my way down and I'm losing so much elevation. And I mean, you can kind of see it from the mountains around too. They're just so steep. And on my way down too, I scared some animal. It's not as sizable. Could have been a bear, mountain lion. I don't think it was a moose. It didn't sound like big deer. Something of a medium size, but I still got elevation to drop. Man, my knees hurt. Alright, so here's my problem. Because of how small I am, when I'm moving, this Velcro here is letting go on both sides and then it's like shimming its way up the pack. Because the pack's weighted, so gravity's pulling it down and as it's loosening, it's essentially shimming up, pulling the weight on my shoulders. And I got a nosebleed right now too. And so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that. But it's just MacGyver this stuff, you know. So I made camp. I um, can tell you, I've been going hard today. And also the air dries. So I've bled out of both of my nostrils. You can kind of see, like, it's dripping out slowly and, like, drying. It's kind of disgusting, really. But yeah, I just wanted to get it on camera. It's ridiculous. But stretching now, and I'm going to go to bed. It's about 
Yeah, 8, 8.15, so. I'm going to get up early and do some more hiking. All right.